Okay, I'm going to uh, attempt to do these uh, cardio chest exercises. And uh, I'll mention that I haven't done these yet, so I haven't looked at them yet, so this is going to be fresh. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, it'll give you some idea of how to solve them, um, especially if you've not been able to work through it. And I'll just talk through some of my logic as I go. Okay, so this is uh, saying that the last element in each array in a 2D array is incorrect. You have to fix each array so the value 0 is changed to include the correct value. The final value should be the length of the first array. Okay, so the length of the first array. Okay, so we're meant to put the final value as the length. In the second array, the final value should be the sum of the first value and the second to last value. In the third array, the final value should be the length of the 2D array. Okay, so create a method called fix array, which takes the mm -hmm. okay, uh, a little hard to understand from this question, but I'm just going to jump in and let's see if we can figure it out as we go. Okay, so let's see. It wants the question is asking us to fix this array. Now let's look at these values here. We've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. Interesting. So uh, I'm going to put the assignment up here just in case uh, because I think I need to uh, work out what, what it's asking us to do. All right, so create a method to add the correct value to each to the array at the correct column. Okay, so um, all right, so uh, this is where the correct value is meant to go here, the last value. Uh, length of the first array. Okay, so let's let's, let's go ahead and write this uh, write this thing here. Uh -huh. Row column value. Uh, this question is very confusing. Okay, so I call the fix. Okay, so it's saying here call the fix array method on this array. Okay, so it's meant to be let's call it so fix array with array, which is my array, and the row, the column, and the value. So this is where I'm meant to be. Uh, updating the value okay so the row that I'm meant to fix is the first row here so let's say I'm fixing this one okay and I'm meant to be updating this with the correct value so in the first array the final value should be the length of the first array so here let me update it with the length so the final value what's the final value so it's array I'm oh, sorry the row is 0, the column is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that's the row and the column. And the value, now, here, this, this kind of uh, code, I don't like necessarily using fixed numbers like this because sometimes they're different right and I can't just easily repeat my code this way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if I want to refer to this item here I want to refer to it as the uh, basically the last value which is basically the size minus one so four would be size minus one which is you know five minus one so I'm going to say array zero dot length minus one 
And that I mean, I know it's like a little bit longer than writing just four. But the, the benefit of that, oops, hang on, I get it. The benefit of this is that I can actually use that, reuse it again. Because in this in this one, it's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be array one and the same thing. So when I, uh, I'll show you what I mean when I come to it. Okay, so this is the zero. So this okay. So I've got row and column and the value. Now I'm going to add what is it? The the final value should be the uh, the length of the first array. Well, that's easy. I've already done that one. So that's actually just going to be array zero dot length. Now note, note that I've, I'm not even dealing with this yet. I'm just doing kind of what it asked me to do. This one I'll come to later. Okay, so that's the second array. The second array, I have to kind of do the similar thing, but I'm just going to copy that and paste it. And instead of array zero, I'm now talking about array one. Okay, so basically I'm updating uh, uh, and this should be one because it's the row. The row is now one, right? I'm not talking about this array anymore. I'm now talking about this array here. So that's array one. I am the last value is length the array one length minus one, and this is the part that I have to change here because the second array, the final value should be the sum of the first value and the second to last value in the array. All right, now I could just look up here at what the numbers are, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use code. So let me highlight this there. It should be the sum of the first value. Okay, so the first value is array one dot oh, array one zero. That's the first value, plus array one Now, what's the number in here? If I want to get the second to last value in this array Well, you're telling me, okay, well it's, it's basically 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Five, right? But uh, that's too easy just to say five. Let me do it should be length minus two. So array one dot length minus two. Now yeah it's it's more complicated but this is this is uh, this is cooler and more precise, right? Uh, you know, like when you you know, I, I do it this way, but it's just going to show you. This is practicing getting used to handling arrays and getting used to referring to parts of an array. Uh, shortcuts are not going to make you better at coding, and so that's why I, I I would suggest you just avoid those kind of shortcuts. We're just writing in the number five. It doesn't help you learn how to refer to values in the array. All right, so as you see here, I've got the first value of the second array, right? So this is array one, zero, right? Array zero, array one, array two. Array zero, one, sorry, array one, zero, and array length minus two is here. So that's the second one. The third one. Let's do the third one. We're going to call fix array. We're going to do something similar. We're going to write array is our array, right? The name of the array. Uh, so that's that one. And then the row that we want. Now the row we want is zero, one, two. So it's two. And then. Uh, 
the column. Well, the column is the same thing, right? It's array two dot length minus one. Basically, this value here, and this is an array of length four. So this this is basically three, right? This is evaluating to three. So it's going to turn into, I could have written three, obviously I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to uh, refer to it by its position. Uh, and so what am I looking for? Okay, so it's, now I need to change it to the value. Now, the final value should be the length of the 2D array. Ah, oh, easy. The length of the 2D array. So that, that, that part's done, uh, it's pretty good so far. To run this, I need to now write this code. So essentially this code is just implementing the change here. It's going to take this row, this column, put plug those numbers in there and change the value. So all we just do is say r row col equals value. And we're not returning any value here. We're just updating the array that's passed here. These arrays are passed by reference, right? So it's a reference to when it passes this array, it's not passing the value. It's passing the reference or the pointer to where this array is in memory. So when I update it, it's updating the original array. I'm not returning anything. I am not need to change send back and forth. I'm just updating the reference. Uh, as I'm going to this where this array is located and changing the, this row, this column to this value. It's a very simple thing. Okay, so let's run and see if I've you know, got it right. Okay, uh, I'm assuming that it should be updated. Now, has this one updated? So 5 is the, oh, what was it meant to be? Uh, the length of the first array. So was it the length? Yes. One, one two, three, four, five. Yes. Um, this last one, the final value should be. Uh, final value should be the sum of the first value and the second to last value. Test my math skills. The first value, five, two, three, plus six, five, three, four. Um, seems right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. And this one was the third value was the length of the 2D array, which is three. Okay. All right. Let me check my code, make sure that CodeHS is happy with it. Okay, and done. So now, uh, one thing I want to do is to point out how you, you, you maybe have thought, oh, gee, why, you know, he's written all this stuff here. Why would you go and bother doing that, right? And I, I went on and on about, like, how I think it's so great to use the references because it builds up your coding skills, blah, blah, blah. Let's just say that I now change my first column here and just uh, add some more values here. Let me just remove this value here. Now, Will my code still work? Or is it broken? Oh, it just so happens it still works. So, oh, I'd like to point out something, and this is not tested, and it's not, it's, you know, it's mainly for thinking about being a coder, you don't want to have to go and be changing your code every single time some of your data changes and you want to design your code so that it's flexible and it's general so it's general it's, it's general not specific to your data and by writing it this way the values can change right the the structure of what i've done here is the same so had i written five or whatever that would now be out of date i have to go and change all my code here so 
I encourage you to code in this way to keep your code general because it will be able to withstand changes to changes to data. I could even delete this whole thing here and uh, let me control X and you know oh no it's probably gonna break because this is no longer existing. I'll change that. Fix that again. But now it still works, right? So you can see that the the you know the code uh, it works. It, it works even when I change things, you know, when I when I adapt it. And so that's why not only is it gonna make you a better coder to think about things in terms of references and locations, but it's also going to help you um, to uh, make your code more flexible and resilient to changes. Okay, uh, let me fix this final fix. You notice I added another mini array there, and now this should turn to four because it's now the size of the, the array is, is increased. Okay, that's it for this video.